Science and Technology The spread of ch knowledge from China and the Muslim countries led to a new fascination with learning that swept throughout Europe in the Middle Ages. The Chinese, the Indians, and the Arabs were still ahead of the rest of the world in science and technology. Crusaders returning to Europe from Palestine brought with them Arabic knowledge and medicine, technology, astronomy, and mathematics. The city-states of Venice and Genoa, exposed to Asian influences throughout this trade, often received these ideas first. The great Italian mathematician Fibonacci based his work on knowledge gleaned from Arabic texts. In England, Roger Bacon, one of the earliest Western scientists, based his ideas and reflections of and refraction on his work from uh, Muslim Spain and Egypt. Printing. Knowledge of papermaking spread to Europe from Arabia at the end of this period. The Koreans and Chinese also had invented movable type printing, and this was later developed in Europe, setting off a revolution in knowledge. But for most of this period, all books were still written by hand, and could people, most people in Europe could not read. Advances in China Chinese writing and education was very advanced, and Chinese medicine, mathematics, and other sciences were already well developed. The government administrators, called mandarins, were already uh, required to be scholarly. This required the progress of Chinese sciences and technologies. Uh, the Mongols brought foreign ideas with them, which would later benefit Ming China. Uh, the spread of knowledge. There was a new spirit of inquiry in the air. The Arabs learned from the East, and the Europeans learned from the Arabs. When the first Westerners, such as the uh, Venetian Marco Polo, went East, they took European ideas with them. More knowledge from ancient Greece came to Europe after the fall of the Byzantine Empire, uh, when many scholars fled from Constantinople to Italy. When Admiral Cheng sailed from China to India, Arabia, and Africa, his fleets carried scholars and collectors to gather items and information from places they visited.